time for the jet. They gave us these things to put around our neck because apparently it gets really cold. They also said the sunglasses are fine. Apparently sunglasses cannot fall off your head if you're careful. Apparently. They got like geothermal power on site here. You feeling pumped? No. What do you mean no? Okay, ready to I'm trying one, to figure two, out how to use this. <laughs> okay, Ninja. It's not that cold yet, okay? <laughs> you can take it out. about 10% of New Zealand's total electricity. Come full, eh? Yeah. yeah. 10, 12 and 2 every day. Spilling 65 cubic meters of water a second. Yeah, we just expected a faster release, you know? Yeah. 65 tons of water no, a faster second. One. Yeah, <laughs> just let it all go at once, let, you know? Yeah, let it go at once. I wanted to take out a few stones on the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is everybody having fun? Yeah. Enjoying spins? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. They're the favorite, my favorite bird. We're yeah. going to do some more. Heaps more. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, let's go. Oh, howdy, my team. Welcome to the Hookah Falls. Yeah. It's the only outflow of Lake Topor. Lake Topor being the largest inland water mass in New Zealand. Roughly geographically equivalent in size to Singapore, the country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the outflow, the head of the Waikato River, uh, is controlled by mercury energy. They turn water it up and down at will. Outside yeah. and inside uh, of my glass. The control gates in the centre of Topor. If you come from the township, you've driven across them. Yeah. Uh, today it's flowing at about 80%. So that's about. 240,000 litres of water a second. Is 80 good? Yeah. Is 80 on the high end? Uh, this is yeah, about 80%. Well, I don't know. I don't know how low it goes. Well, that, this is. That's it. I can tell you. It's exactly 80%. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can go on the weather, Mercury's website and they tell you the no, exact does, number. No, does it drop much further than that? Like It goes down. So it varies between uh, 20%, 55,000 oh, okay. litres, mm. and uh, full noise, 319,000 litres. Okay. Yeah. That's 319 tons of water a second coming over the top. Wow. That's not bad. It's pretty full on. One of the areas. Because what they're doing is uh, it's an on-demand hydroelectric scheme. Yeah. They're filling up Lake Aratiatia like a giant battery, like they are now, okay. where it's got a 1.4 metre variance. Uh, so that uh, when I get home tonight, and so does the whole of Auckland, when they switch on their kettle for a nice cup of tea and stick the heater on, they'll open up the dam gates down at Aratiatia, making 74 megawatts of electricity there, and then at each of the nine hydroelectric dams, as that lump of water takes 18 hours to travel the length of the Waikato, making 75 megawatts each of the nine hydroelectric dams. It's a real cool way. It's designed in the 1950s. Yes, yes. Okay, it's good enough. We made use of it. Clodable. A little wet there? Uh, yeah, maybe a little. Yeah, it's not bad. 
Oh, I know. It's uh, it's good to have a four x four in New Zealand. Do recommend. Is that a horse? I think that's a pretty big pig. No, you can ride it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you can for sure ride it. Still a pig. Hello. He's just big boned. Mm -hmm. He's also well camouflaged. It's winter, so it's probably fluffing it. Right. You're so wet still from the boat. <laughs> More your size. Nice. So? So we got a drink that is world famous in New Zealand. Oh, is it, does that count? <laughs> How is Lemon it? Lemon pyro, I don't know. I haven't tried yet. Oh. That's really good. Is it? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, but the geopark's closed, so Craters of the Moon is all we get. And Lemon and Pyro, world famous <laughs> in New Zealand. I'm kind of scared of chicken. You better be. Oh, uh, we've been with the Zed, now we went, now we're going to see the actual falls. Yeah, without the jet, that's the best view you get. Well, we were down there, though. Yeah, we were there. jet just on the side there is it the bad elbow uh it is but it didn't hit the nerve part it kind of hit like the top part but if it bruised up like this after an hour it might be all purple tomorrow <laughs> okay